into it. Right, we're live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to today's Audience Attraction Alumni Interviews, uh, which is basically just me chatting to people who have been on Audience Attraction uh, <laughs> previously so that we can discuss what they're up to, how they're feeling, um, how they felt, and all of that malarkey. So, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I just did a check in the group that we are live as I think we are. We are. There we are. Yeah. Oh, 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 let me turn the volume down on that. Are moment. we in the right place, Elgonia? We're in the right place. <laughs> Empty bombs are with there you. Go. So let us know if you're watching. Please also do give StreamYard permission so that we can add your comments up on screen because we love, love, love that. Um, we love it. We love it. We love it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so let us know if you're watching. <laughs> so, Empty Box, tell us a bit about yourself. What is it that you do in your business, darling? Well, um, where do I start, love? Where do I start? Because I've got a few things going on, as you well know, love, as you well know. So <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a personal brand photographer. Um, I'm full time professional photographer. So I'm doing that. I'm doing that. But I've also got uh, my own photography school um, where I teach people hands on how to use a camera, how to get off auto settings, and I do workshops all over the Northwest, Wales, oh. Yorkshire, we stick it in there, you know, where <laughs> and I just take them to some brilliant locations, the Lake District, gorgeous, stunning locations, um, and I'm also, I've just started this, but I'm very, I can't wait, I bloody can't wait, I'm also a mentor to other newbie photographers now, and I absolutely bloody blinkered love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. You're loving life. You're loving life. Loving life. Loving it. So <laughs> here's a good question for you. How, when you first came to me, when we first met, how did you feel about social media? Uh, let, right, I'll be honest with you. I bloody hated it, <laughs> which I think... <laughs> Oh, no, don't, don't joke. Oh, don't joke. You asked me. You asked me. That's true. No, it's true, right? We, we, it's true. No, you asked me. You, you asked me mid gulp of your water. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Well, right. on a on a, right. on a serious note, on a serious note, right? I just, oh God, all you know. I mean, it's daunting, isn't it? All you ladies in the group will you'll know exactly know what I mean. You've got a group here, you've got a you know, you've got a business page, you've got a workout. What the heck do I post? Do you know? And nobody's listening to me, and I'm doing this, and oh my god, I'm scared to go live, I'm scared to get to show up as myself, I'm scared, I don't know what they're gonna think of me. And then how many times have you sat there and thought, what the bloody hell am I going to write now? What on earth am I going to write? Which was me. That was me. 12 months ago, that was me. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. Like, what the heck do I even bloody write? Where do I start? Where do I start? Help me. Somebody help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> I, one of the things for me when I first started, is because I had um, obviously digital marketing, I honestly believed that I knew everything there was to know about it all. So I came into it and I started using these big techniques that I'd been taught over digital marketing and visibility and things that you, you, uh, you know, things that would just blow your mind in terms of being quite promotional, yeah. being quite pushy. Um, which is not aligned with me at all. It's not aligned with my no, body. It's aligned no. with how I feel comfortable or what I want to share or any of those things. It just it was completely misaligned. And um I quickly realized that actually there's this whole area of social in small business and predominantly also in that feminine energy where we don't want to be a um car dealership salesman no no when you don't want that sort of stuffy 
you know that you just don't want to be like that do you you want to be yourself so you've got to try and somehow come up with these posts that you know you're using your own language how you speak and obviously because you want to attract your ideal client you need to attract them because you ultimately you need sales don't you and you're like oh my god yeah. <laughs> you're like what what do i do <laughs> help yeah. yeah and then what happens is i think for a lot of us that are in this kind of space in our in our journey is that we get exposed to the fake news first we get exposed oh, yeah. to the shady practices oh, first yeah. Hi Janet, this is our Janet. Hello. Oh, hi Janet. Hi, Janet. Janet. What? <laughs> <laughs> amazing Janet. Hello, darling. She's amazing. Is our Janet? She, she is. is. She is. Right. She is. She is. And I know she's one of your bonuses as well, isn't she? Janet is yeah. one of our Brucey bonuses. Yeah, I don't know what the Brucey bonus is about, but I've been going on about it all day, every time, because I've had a lot of calls, um, chatting to people who want to join and chatting to people who want yeah. something that's right for them, and it hasn't been right for everybody, of course, um, but for for a lot of the people I've spoke to, it has been just bob on time. But what's really really funny is I, I keep describing the bonuses as Brucey bonuses. I don't know where <laughs> Brucey <I'm> bonuses. <laughs> Brucey bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it is one hell of a juicy bonus. Look, just one bring it out there, don't bonus. I'll just yeah. put it out there. Janet Adden, one hell of a Brucey bonus. Well, I mean, I mean she's, you are a perfect example yeah. of Janet's work, right? Because yeah. this time last yeah. year, we were in a situation where we were doing the challenge, and I was kind of giving you possibly a slightly more forceful push in terms of the feel the fear. <laughs> a little <Okay>. push, Emma. <laughs> Whereas Janet actually got down and dirty in the psyche and did the deep work in terms oh, of your geez, anxiety yeah. with you to get geez, you past yeah. that mark, right? Oh my God, if it wasn't for our Janet and, and you helping me as well and supporting me and believing in me, there's no way on this earth I'd be doing this now. Like what like what on earth's going on now? <laughs> like I mean I'm there. Streaming in the group and that you know that this will go on YouTube later and be always on my YouTube channel. I mean, I am nothing if I am not walking my own talk. I'm going to repurpose this content, damn it. And <laughs> <laughs> it's going out there. Is, um, yeah, like it is, do, is it too late for me to do a runner? <laughs> can, I, can I go on a thing? <laughs> no, 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 no. But Janet's no, work you really did help you overcome that block, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'm not even, I'm so jealous that the bonus is, the Brucey bonus is Janet Adam. I'm well, Jill. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> she's she's gonna come in. She's gonna and what's what I really love about it is that obviously audience attraction is the hybrid of my two best selling yeah. signature yeah. courses. And they've been best selling for years. They, these are not um a situation where it's like just something that I've been doing recently. These have been best sellers like since I brought them out for for years, since two thousand and eighteen. 2018. That's a brilliant again. You are welcome, darling. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's the hybrid of those two courses, which have always been yeah. high. Now the good thing about that is that every single time we, when we look at these things, we look obviously at blocks. We look at that mindset shift, and Janet has been a perfect example of how that can work. Hi, Paula. Our Paula. Hey, Paula. Hey, up! It's a party now. <laughs> Great lady, it's the wonderful Kate lady, our Paula. Our Paula, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's a case whereby that first and foremost, Janet is kind of already demonstrated through you, which is a perfect yeah. example. Yeah, it can get, get, get what, a perfect, what a perfect example of 
when you invest in yourself and you work with somebody who knows what they're doing, who knows what they're talking about, and you you take that leap of faith, but you also invest in you invested in yourself, aren't you? Ultimately, in yourself, and yeah. then look what can happen. Look what can happen when you go and get help from somebody who's a wow. professional, who's a professional and knows what they're talking about. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, look, I've got a wrote it. There you go. It's in a tea there. There you go. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head. Mind drop moment. <laughs> what a, what a, what a, what a, Whenever I want to do a mind drop, I always get a pen and I do a pen drop. Right, right. Let's have a look. Have I got a pen? <laughs> well, mind drop moment. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Yes, because we're the bosom of <laughs> you're in the bosom of <laughs> the reason why Leanne's saying that is because I sent her a funny joke earlier because I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm okay to say I think I'll be okay to say Leanne you can tell me off if I wasn't supposed to but all Leanne signed up for audience attraction and I said to her that I, I knew it were right for I could feel it in me bust <laughs> it's a bit of a joke it's, it's a bit of a joke it's like i can feel it in my heart but you know like yeah. you say with your camera mm -hmm. it's bigger <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the bosom of beyond the door you're in there the bosom you go. of beyond the door oh i'm so glad i'm so glad this has made you oh, laugh. I, should, you know, I should have a bit of a warning on this one that unfortunately when we get together like this we're as mad yeah. as a the frogs well yeah you should have put some sort of warning on it just to say look prepare yourself prepare yourself <laughs> prepare yourself because <laughs> the other thing is is i think we wind each other up don't we we get us yeah. we get us yeah. i mean how we did those brand shoots we did i have no idea how did, how, how did we do them brand shoots <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were very professional on those brand shoots both times i mean the first time i must admit i, I struggled a little bit because of the heat yeah it was warm and i were uncomfortable it wasn't it yeah mind you saying that neither of them have been easy because then when i took you down to the <laughs> beach uh, in the October <laughs> one it was it were a hurricane so let's it, you know, oh my god run the next one was that impact. second shoot was was on another level do you know what I mean? I mean, if there was, if there's like a Richter scale there, that second <laughs> shoot was beyond it. That second shoot, you know, <laughs> you get a Richter scale probably about a nine, nine point nine. <laughs> so what, was, what was really funny was, I, I said to you, I really want this lovely kind of dreamy, um, summery like yeah. vibe. I want it to be really atmospheric, and I want it to be almost magical. And you were like, it's not summer anymore. But we <laughs> You know, we can try and go in that direction. And then I buggered off to Spain for two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. I so, wanted to call you. Yeah, fit in your suitcase. <laughs> if it hadn't been for Christmas, I probably would have still been there. Um, but yeah, so it's a situation whereby we got through it. I think we were actually we rather professional. We did. We, we did really well. Um, so yeah, when it comes to audience attraction, having Janet be the Brucey bonus yeah it's actually perfect i think because it gives everybody the yeah. and it's not just your bog standard imposter syndrome training because we will talk about that throughout the entire process that's something that's going to need to be revisited on every yeah. level, like in every module in some shape or form it's so important know. though isn't it isn't it so important like when you think about the challenge that we've just done um and there's so many ladies including myself that find it difficult you know that imposter syndrome and you don't feel like you're good enough you're not worthy enough yeah so if you sort of go back to the challenge that we've just gone and done and we're gonna it's sort of like taking elements from that challenge and bloody smashing them smashing into smithereens <laughs> and like you know and the the people that's gonna you know you're gonna be working with janet oh my god so yeah. that's like you're gonna change that and that self-doubt is the worst isn't it it's so it's so bad but the other thing is as well yeah. i always forget the, the professional name for it so forgive me if i've said this wrong but i feel like it's uh, like a diane kruger effect and i'll and i'll yeah. sit in the group later that actually hi sarah hello my darling oh, yeah. hi, hi sarah, sarah love <laughs> um, 
Um, <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah, the Diane Kruger effect is that we actually people who are capable and have the inner intelligent uh, intelligence to self-regulate are the people who suffer from imposter syndrome. So let me just say that again. That's really yeah. important for everyone in here to hear is that the people, Dunning Kruger. Thank you, Sarah. You loving awesome woman look there she is she knows she knew where i was coming from it's actually Brilliant. the the situation whereby that somebody who is intelligent enough and capable enough is the person who feels imposter syndrome because the people who have that you know they're the, they're the ones that are self-regulating they're the ones that are being inner critical but in in an intelligent yeah. way totally, totally that. that that's totally that though isn't it Absolutely. And it, just, it so resonates with me, you know, it's exactly, that is me to a T. Yeah. Um, so being able, having that extra help, that extra training there, so not only are you going to learn all that, that is audience attraction, you're going to learn all that, you're also going to get help with, you know, with imposter syndrome, with self-doubt, with just yeah. believing in yourself. And you know what? That is just brilliant, isn't it? Well, I mean, I'm well. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would love to have you on it again, MC Bob. <laughs> you into a a, a door, an old door, your full house. I will, you know that. But um, <laughs> um, what it is for me is, I really struggle with the question. I get asked all of the time. Yeah. What does it cover? And the truth of the matter is, it covers so much ground. It can be really. Yeah to actually say what it covers and you know because you've been through it and you've been through yeah. last year's version of it so you've you've been through the full vip experience in terms of the audio yeah, experience and yeah you had you had the full shebang i mean let's talk a little bit about that how what what was that like for you going through the full the full experience the bang. the other night I, could, I can't remember now but i kept saying something like the whole malarkey <laughs> the whole shebang malarkey the, the whole, whole malarkey shebang. of the experience of the amazing wonderful experience what we'll just say that the wonderful <laughs> amazing experience <laughs> um well do you know what how can i put this it was bloody brilliant. So let's just say, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, apart from like, oh my God, where do I even start here now? Where do I even bloody start? Right. Well, let, let's just let's just start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, could, I could do a, a, a Julie. Uh, I mean, from Sound of Music. I've lost my words today. But look I don't know. Know. I've lost my words. <laughs> place to start <laughs> I mean, if you think about it right let's just let's put for a minute the content creation side of it to one side for a, for a, a second here now we, we learn you're learning all about in the content marketing content creation stick bit. That, stick that over there for a minute because that is one right. hell of a beautiful little it's nugget big, there <laughs> it's, nugget. it's definitely a nugget it's a big fat nugget <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> if, you think, if you think about all the other stuff, first of all, like you taught you to, you mean you know you taught me how to do a group properly, all the back the background, all the tech sort of stuff going on there that is just you know you don't even realise that you need to know that stuff. You don't even I didn't even know that I knew needed to know it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's an amazing point, and I just want to go a bit yeah. deeper with that if I can, because yeah. that whole saying of "you don't know what you don't know" yeah. is obviously a valid statement, in it, and it's quite a broad statement for lots of different areas. But what is really, mm -hmm. really, 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 really obvious when it comes to social media is that we have this false pretense this false sense of security that because we've had a personal profile or because we've used it in a personal social way um, that we have a handle on how it works and it is very much like the theatre you may have been to the theatre a million times and have an understanding that you believe of how it works but unless you've worked backstage there is a whole, that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? There's a whole mm. level that is going on behind the scenes in multiple different directions mm. that is really, really important for you guys to know. And 
there are different themes. So the way you run a Facebook group that you are using as a funnel might have one set way to be run. The way you're using a Facebook group that is for a challenge will have a different set. And yes. it's very popular right now to have pop-up groups for challenges rather than your long-standing groups, right? If you have a hobby situation, if you run live in-person events, these are all just little things that I'm plucking out of the business possibility sky here but they are all completely managed separately and differently in lots and lots of beautiful ways and the tech and the benefits of that tech and how it can support you it's interchangeable there is not one way to skin this cat there's multiple no, there's lots of ways to skin a cat love lots Absolutely. of ways yeah <laughs> there's, there's, there's lots of lots of ways but then if you then put that that big fat nugget to one side <laughs> then got <laughs> creating <laughs> with, there's, there's a lot of nuggets going on here a lot of big fat nuggets <laughs> going on here so if you if you put that one to one side you've then got like the actual content creation part of it which for me it was like amazing for me that's that has definitely changed the whole way I work, um, my business, everything, how I work. It's changed how I work. Yeah. So there we yeah. go. <laughs> Hi, Hi, love, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. Hello, Charlene. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Charlene. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, here's, here's a question for you. One of the things that we did last night in the masterclass was we worked out how many times yeah. if we were to go off general information rather than a bespoke strategy or expert advice, how many times we would be expected to post, how many times we would be expected to churn out content. So I know, um, because obviously you're also in pro members and we talk all the time, that you pre-schedule your posts going out now, don't you? yeah yes so talk us through I, that. I, I, I know i never used to do this so i'm just gonna put that out there i never used to do this until before i did the course and now i pre-schedule a month in a time now i'm trying to go i'm trying to build up on that so maybe a couple, couple of months at a time but at the minute it is a month time um and for me that just has changed my whole business it changed it's changed how i work because now i can concentrate on loads of other stuff i can do loads of other stuff on my business um and it me and you know what is brilliant when you sat there watching teller with a brew and you know all your posts are going out you're like no nice one you're <laughs> like you don't have no worries is there because you're like ka ching ka ching yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I feel They're like all that. there. They're all going out, and you're just there, uh, relaxing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. when we were in, when we were over in Fort Adventure, <laughs> I'm here. Are you still there? Or is, is it yeah. me that's on? Yeah. Are we yeah. back? You, you, you know, it's all right. You're here. We're here. It's all good in the hood. It's good in the hood, love. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, so, yes, yeah, so when we were in Fort Ventura, one of the main things that was really important to me was that I had everything already set up. Now, whether you can call this expert planning or whether you can just call it, because I actually have a running day once per month where I do all of my social media stuff, I do all of my automations. Um, and what I do is I do the baseline but when I say the baseline the baseline it's not crap content it's not content for the sake of content of course um, you do need to have things that are there for people to be um, show stoppers but also everything that I put out is good quality and there is a conscious decision and reasoning mm -hmm. and behind it everything I put out has a purpose it has a directive it has something that is going to support my business and what that gave me whilst I was away was the perfect opportunity to fully share my on-the-fly stuff 
the stuff yeah, that I want. Yeah, because yeah. You, you, yeah. you've gone and freed up your time, haven't you? You've freed up your time so you can concentrate on other areas of your business. Um, <clears throat> but it's exact, exactly what, what you're saying, though. I mean, because I schedule all my content now, a full month in advance, it just say the vast majority. I mean, I'm not an expert. I'm not as good as Eldonio, right? Let's just put that out there. Um, but the vast majority of what I'm putting out, I know why I'm putting it out there. I know why I am doing it. So I've got a bit more strategy, clearer direction. Yeah. Yeah, and that yeah. holds up you. You've got yeah. you've gone you've gone a little bit robotic, RMZ Bobs, but you are still yeah. there. Oh, right. oh, I'm there. I'm there. You're yeah. Still here. yeah, I think I think the internet might be struggling at your end, but you, you're all you're all right. You're still here. Charlene okay. said that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> schedule will make a massive difference to her, and this is something that I think yeah. a lot. Of people yeah. There was this this big thing back in 2011 that third party schedulers stopped your reach and that if you used a scheduler or if you did any of that stuff um you wouldn't have the same you wouldn't have the same response right yeah. and that is not true just for another golden nugget for anyone who's watching it's not true it's not been true for a number of years i mean we're in 2021 we're talking a decade ago old information there yeah. um especially yeah. since facebook and instagram bought out their business suite and their creator suites that are within the actual platforms so it's not it's not a situation where you have to worry about that stuff anymore yes yes Jeannie. it's it's one of those yeah. situations yeah. where can make a massive massive difference but scheduling is hard if you don't know what it is you need to do and this is what audience attraction yeah. gives and that's the difficult thing so like what what does it cover dawn well it, it covers everything you need to be able to go out there and be visible and figure out what it is that you need to share. And it's not just the theory. It is definitely digital marketing theory. There's definitely psychological selling techniques included, of course. It is about copy and captions and is about the tech and all of that stuff. But it is really, really something that is is more than that it gives you just the ease yeah. of knowing what it is that you need to say so oh you're very welcome scheduling yes yeah you, busy. i mean this is a perfect example right for the people who haven't got any kind of strategy or don't know what they want to say and haven't tried having the automation or the scheduling in the bag before homeschooling came like a hurricane and knocked us off our businesses right massively for the people who had to homeschool or for the people who had to deal with sick relatives or the people who had to uh, change what they were doing i know a number of people went and worked in different businesses um or helped out in the nhs you know all of these things that completely wiped anything i think we both stopped there i don't know babe i'm i look like i'm still going on the one on my phone but <laughs> are you there Hello. Right, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> here. Woo -woo. Um, so, <laughs> Jamie, planning a month ahead can be hard if you don't have a strategy. However, in order for you to yeah, make you sales, need to strategy. you do need a strategy. Yeah. Absolutely. It needs to be a situation whereby uh, you know where you're directing your people, what your narratives are, what you're talking about. That doesn't mean that you take away the, sp the spontaneity. In fact, what you actually do is you free up the pressure so that when you want to be sp spontaneous, you know that all of the base stuff is covered and you can free yourself up from that point of view. So it doesn't take away the spontaneity, it supports the spontaneity. The other thing that um, I wanted to ask you, MC Bobs, is when it comes to your client, yeah. when you ask people where they've heard about you or, or where you've got bookings from, 
Where are they coming from? Just repeat, just repeat that uh, that again, Eldonio. Just repeat it again, Laura. <laughs> Sorry, darling. When when you're getting you say, clients, you, say, you say, when, yeah, just repeat it again. When you're getting clients um, and bookings, where are they coming from? Where are they finding out about you? Right, I'd say the vast majority of bookings now are coming from Facebook. Also, actually getting some from Instagram, which has never happened before until Eldonio's little bit of help there. Um, I'm actually getting bookings from there as well now. Brilliant. Social media. Yeah. The power of social media. Yeah. So, I mean, this is something that people <laughs> say to me all the time what is the return of investment on this course i cannot give you a return on investment on this course it would be mm. wrong of me to do that it depends on you know what you have sorted out in terms of what your offers are whether you know the type of people that you want to target we will go through all of that and i can i can pull on those threads and we can get you there but you have to follow you have to follow the process you have to trust the process and you have to go through the areas of what you need to learn that you may not realize you need to learn right now to get to that point but i have never known somebody who's gone through the course and stuck to the methods and brought that out in themselves that hasn't then made their money back i don't know anyone who's done that so i mean that in itself i always think is a wonderful thing yeah definitely def yeah definitely agree with you eldonio <laughs> definitely <laughs> agree with you because it's like paula there paula's saying she struggles planning a week isn't she she's saying that paula's saying that she struggles to plan a week ahead um let alone a month this course helped me so much otherwise i wouldn't have been able to do it i i know what i'm doing and i can plan a month in a few days about three yeah. and a half days i can plan that whole month and that's for all my business pages that i've got three business pages and a, and a group so <laughs> basically if i can do it anyone can <laughs> <laughs> i mean you do you do really well and the other thing is as well is it helps because it can be really really difficult for us to know which direction of our business we're focusing on but when we actually have that planned out and we know what who it is we're talking to and why we're talking to them all of that stuff is just dead easy so like i can i know exactly after audience attraction closes i know what's happening next and the things that i'll be posting about and and being visible about on my blogs on my emails i've got guest blogs coming out that were written a month ago but don't come out for another month yet and all of these things work in conjunction to give you a really really um well established visibility practice within your business but then once it's done you can set that down and you can actually work on the things that you you know that sets your soul on fire for me the social media stuff does set my soul on fire so i'm i am like i'm i am the exception to the rule but for, for most people they want to be deep they want to be with their people you know you want to be outside with you with yeah. your camera around the bobs you don't really want to be sat behind your computer exactly to schedule a media Eldonio. that's exactly it so i love to get everything out of the way for the whole month then that means that i can concentrate and doing other stuff but then if i want to be spontaneous if i, I can't even say that word <laughs> if i want a bit of spontaneity <laughs> <laughs> if i want to get a little bit of spontaneity in my life i'll just go and do a live i'll go and do a spontaneous live i'll go and um put you know i might go and be out somewhere doing doing a photo shoot and i'll go and post a selfie but at least i know i can breathe because i've got it all covered so i don't there's no panic there's no stress i, I you know like i said i'm there watching telly and all my posts are just being posted <laughs> it's brilliant it is really yeah. good feeling it is it's just going. and what i really love as well is i love it when everything's gone out 
and um, I could be sat there and I will have scheduled that post a month ago or longer yeah. because sometimes because we we have a really clear direction for an anim within beyond the dawn so and then somebody will comment on that and they'll be like i needed that today dawn thank you for that or that is exactly where i'm at right now and i'll think to myself yeah. Not, to, yeah. not to get too woo but almost like that happens for a reason and i love that i love that those things like the planets aligning they just yeah these well, that is that is boring. <laughs> I really enjoy that. Hi, yeah. Helen. No, well, that's good when you can do that. That, that again. Yeah. Hi, Helen. I love um, that again. Dawn in itself is off the Richter scale, isn't it? That you can just go and post and then and then like, God, Dawn, like I get it. You've you've. Yeah. <laughs> I needed that. I mean, now that's off the Richter scale, that donut. That's not, that's yeah. Serendipity. <laughs> Sarah says it's serendipity. Yeah. And I love that. I love that. Serendipity. And I love that word. And fil the film Serendipity has some connection to Blackpool. I yeah. forgot now. Either the director's from Blackpool or they filmed it in Blackpool, I forget. But there's some sort of uh, connection to Blackpool. So serendipity serendipity hello way back i'm so sorry i did that really wanky thing that people do on lives and on zooms <laughs> <where> they... <laughs> i'm so like... sorry i don't know why i did that i, I apologize I, I apologize i don't know why i did that <laughs> um okay Rianne says, and the whole month ahead in my group it was such a pressure taking off and then the lives became easier because i picked up on the posts and the comments so what you've just what you've just yeah. hit the nail on the there Arlian, is the beauty that most people are missing right now and this is where it comes in in terms of nurture this is where it falls within the area of audience attraction that we're going to cover is that people miss out on nurturing because they're too busy posting and if you're too busy and you're in the middle of the busy work you're going to miss all of the key buying signals all of the situations that give you the genius that allow you to actually help your people okay and this that is the sweet sweet balance that people miss out on whilst they're worrying about the bloody algorithm the algorithm everyone's so yes. focused on the algorithm oh my you know god that, oh my gosh just go and trample know that, on the algorithm <laughs> here's another golden nugget for anyone who's watching the algorithm is algebra that's all it is it's, it's just, just a lot of numbers it's just math <laughs> right that's all it is it's not out to get you it is not the boogeyman it doesn't really care whether you used that pink hue on your graphic or or whether you've used that hashtag do you know what i mean it it, it doesn't, doesn't really care. care it doesn't it's care. not bothered <laughs> yeah it's just a yeah, it's, not, it's not bothered it's about yeah, nurturing it's people isn't it it's about nurturing your people and yes. It, yeah yes so back in the day what was exactly the algorithm isn't gonna buy screw it because the thing about the algorithm <laughs> right, um is that the algorithm supports high volume but marketing is changing and this is the real this is one of the main key yeah. factors that it's in audience attraction is that low volume high quality is actually where it's at it's connection isn't it so it's 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 having it's having that sort of posts and things like that it's about connection isn't it more than i think anything else so it's about be, it's like going back to the challenges that you set it's like being yourself isn't it showing up being yourself being visible and connecting with your ideal client because yeah. they're the ones that will buy from you so <laughs> you know, until you know how to do that mm. we can talk till we're blue in the face saying we <laughs> And, we really I don't, I don't, and I don't I don't fancy going blue in the face. <laughs> no, me neither. I don't think that shade would suit me, but we can do that. And yeah. actually, in truth, um, it is a situation whereby we can say that, but until you know how to do that, yeah. we can give you all theory, but until we give you that actually here is what you need to go and do to do that, it's very, very difficult. 
it, it is it is it's not easy it, you know and i fa i found it there's times when i found it hard however now since doing the course it's so much easier it's just it's just easier I, I have more clarity i suppose the word i'd say is more clarity on what i'm gonna post how i'm gonna do it so it's just it's easier for me it's easier yeah. It does, it does make it easier, right? Yeah, definitely. Bags well, easier. <laughs> bags easier. So, R. Helen has said scheduling does allow that freedom to be spontaneous. I said it right. Um, I'm not always consistent with scheduling, but I've joined Audience Attraction VIP this year, and it's a core component of my strategy to scale up on further this year. So, yes. I'm not Helen won't mind me saying, I'm, I mean, first of all, I'm super stoked that our Helen's joining us on the VIP. Yes. Um, that's well good. But um, the thing with Helen is that she actually recognises that you can't give a blanket swipe file option to a niche. You cannot. In Helen's niche, it's very, very yeah. specific. It's quite sensitive in some areas. So it Helen is. It is take all of the core values of digital marketing and she's been able to tweak it and define it and make it this bespoke strategy that works for her and her people and it's with massive excellent results and then of course she's joining us again this year and she's going to be so it's just the everything and on steroids. yeah it's brilliant it's brilliant everything in, and on steroids <laughs> And on steroids, absolutely. <laughs> so here's here's the thing. Here's the question for yeah. you. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so go for it. Do you think you would be where you are now if you had sat back and not taken audience attraction last year? No way, Jose. No way, Jose. There's no chance in hell, cat in hell's chance, that I would now and now, right, today, after after this amazing interview with our Eldonio, right, I am carrying on scheduling for the rest of March. I've already done one business page for all of March, so I've wrote probably about 30 posts, scheduled about 30 posts yesterday. Now, that might have... 12 months ago, I would have thought, are you having an actual laugh? I can't <laughs> even I can't even schedule seven posts, let alone 30. But however, because I've gone through it, I sort of get it more. And the more as time goes by, the more it's clicking into my head as well. So li quite literally, there is no way on this earth I would be able to do that. And today I'm carrying on after this interview with the rest of it, I've got another two business pages. I'm a group. And you know what? It's not really that hard. <laughs> it's not, it's not, and it, and it will sound like it, it, it's not. There's no way I would have been able to do that. There's no way. So we need to bottle it, that. It's yeah. not hard. It's not hard. And it's like, so now because I know how to do it a lot better and I'm under I understand it, that means I can do other things. So there's no way I'd be where I am now. So 12 months ago, if I hadn't have invested in myself and my knowledge and my business, oh my god, well, I'd still be like, Can somebody help me? What do I post today? <laughs> do yeah. you know what I mean? I'll be looking and thinking, I haven't got a clue. Yeah. And then just put in anything. Because we've all done it, haven't we? We've all done it. We've all thought, oh, my God, I don't know what to put. Well, I know I'll just stick up a, a picture because it's Penguin Day. <laughs> do you know oh. what I, mean? I think I did do that. I did do that, actually. I did do that. I won't lie. I'll be honest. I did actually have a post <laughs> as it was Penguin Day. <laughs> There's no judgment here. There's no judgment here. Um, oh, my God. It's one of those things. I'm just going to say for the replay, bye, Sarah. I think we've already lost you, but bye, darling. She needed to go uh, to watch a call. I love this. Have an awesome day. Have Aww. a lovely day, lovely. Um, yeah. And Helen's agreeing with us. Helen's agreeing with us wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I try not to be too. Um, I try not to be too. What's the right word here? I don't want to be. Uh, disparage. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> don't I don't want to disparage anybody else yeah. by suggesting that their methods are 
uh, not effective so instead what yeah. i just say is what what i believe to be effective and i don't personally agree you know this and i've said it a number of times yeah i, don't want to I know what you're gonna say i know what you're gonna say. speak like a pirate day <laughs> being the core element of your content because you you can anyone can i'm sorry if there's any children in the room turn your volume down now you can talk <laughs> shit right you can everybody can and if yeah. what you're putting out there is the same stuff that you would talk about down the pub after a bottle of wine <laughs> when you're chatting alone yeah. and that, then that's <laughs> one thing but it's not going to be effective it's not going to serve you it's not going to do what it needs to do for your business and it is not how professional digital marketing agencies work and we are small business owners but we are mighty and we have the potential to really really rock all of these fantastic free tools fantastic practices that often require little or no investment beyond learning how to use them and you know you can really make a lot of what is available much more than previously has been available to small business owners and people who are setting up online businesses um, you know in years past so there's a real opportunity here to to utilize yeah, all of these completely tools. completely agree yeah because it was more so like back back in the day back in the day it was more so um offline marketing wasn't it so it was more so like you know your business card yeah, I mean, I'm not saying anything wrong with that, but like going to networking meetings. But like, I think Facebook, think how many people you can reach. Yeah, you, you can reach thousands of people. So I guess by connecting with them with the right content, you're going to, you know, you, you're going to connect with your ideal clients, aren't you? Yeah, you've got so the it, it's Like never before yeah yeah like never before the world is your oyster <laughs> the world is your facebook oh, oyster. I mean, it's not just facebook it's about yeah. the, the correlation between all of the different areas of your social standing right so you've got all of the different platforms and in module two we we do a run through of all the different platforms what they do how they can be useful what kind of things you can use uh, yeah. them for in your business how they can serve you but it's also about how you are visible elsewhere it's about um how you conduct yourself in a way to actually go and be amongst ideal client and the market research that is required for you to have a full educated understanding of how to effectively achieve your goals these are all elements that people mm -hmm. uh, kind of hop past skip past as though they don't need them but in truth these are the fine details that create that missing link yeah definitely definitely agree with you definitely donna i mean because um for me i done passion for passive which is like one to many um and it's like a bit of an extension isn't it i think that the audience attract this course it, it's just sort of honing in those skills then on how to talk to your your customers how to connect with those clients um yeah. so it's just yeah. a great sort of progression as well a great pro well, a great progression is, from that from the one to many course yeah i mean the thing is is that lisa johnson's one to many course is just phenomenal and that what that does is it creates a situation yeah. whereby people understand what their offer is they understand what it is they want to put out into the world they understand how to structure that and they and they know how to build all of that um, which is fantastic and it give, it does give a really good baseline. This is different in terms of this is more of the social situation. Um, so it is very much about how to do your content marketing. It's very much to do with the tech uh, and to how to, to complete the sales structure that that gives you. But you're absolutely right. You came to us at a time where you'd done P4P, which is as it was back then, and you've gone through all of Lisa's amazing training. Yeah. You had an offer, you had a funnel, you had all of these things set up, and all you really needed to do then was to figure out what your... I had it all going on. 
you had it all going on it was just a case of yeah. pulling it together and learning about how it all going on. <laughs> yeah yeah and just pulling pulling it together in that way so yeah it, it's really helpful <laughs> also um for people who have joined us previously that have got product-based offers it has been really super helpful as well because it's given an opportunity for you to actually figure out which areas of the annum which area of your year needs to be focused in which area and much like yeah. when we launch things we will start talking about stuff early it's the same with your products right you start talking about the product you're going to drop before you drop it yeah, of course, of course you do. It's that build-up, isn't it? You want to create an interest. You want to create excitement around your product or your service that you're about to launch. So it's about getting, but, but it's on knowing how do you deliver that then? How do you talk to your people about what it is that you're selling? How do you do that? So it's it's knowing how to to write those posts properly, isn't it? And how to how to get that information across. Yeah, in a way that people will truly understand it. Yeah. Helen says, I couldn't agree more. I had new clients chat with me yesterday who said that they'd been following me for a while. They chose me because of my content, my voice, and how I come across in lives. A business card doesn't do that. That's so true. So yes. we get yes. people all the time that come to us. Um, oh, we we there for Helen. Really? Oh, we're there. We're there. Um, yeah, we get people all the I'm time for Helen because she's in the nail <laughs> <laughs> um, and ask for you know, like it's social media management budgets. And they will often ask us in terms of what they have to spend for business cards or leaflets or anything like that. And that is a really good point because that budget, that marketing budget that is kind of a cultural acceptance. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. My nose keeps tickling and threatening a sneeze. Um, every single time that you've kind of like gone through the culture, <laughs> people being of recognising that, they know that they have to pay for advertising. They know that they have to buy business cards. They know that they have to buy leaflets and flyers. <clears throat> but what they don't know is that actually social media fits into that same bracket but yet they don't give themselves the budget they don't assign themselves that same marketing mm -hmm. budget it's which which isn't good is it which isn't good because to me like, like i said before look, look think of the reach that you can get from social media just think of the reach that you can potentially get from social media a massive audience you've got it's there for you but it's you've got to come across though you've got to be yourself haven't you and you've got to be able to connect with the right people you have for certain <laughs> um bye janet this one that one's our janet bye janet thanks for watching darling oh my janet <laughs> She's having a lunch date with the son. <laughs> yeah, we're having a lunch date, really, aren't we? So, yeah, I mean, that's one of yeah, the things. Yeah, well, no food. <laughs> no food. <laughs> I've got a coffee. Does that count? <laughs> got a coffee. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so one last question and then we'll go. What was your favourite okay, part no. about the audience attraction? Right, right. My favourite part. Right, there's quite a few bits. First of all, our amazing Eldonio, who gives loads of support. Um, oh. Community, the the community that you can, you know, friends that you make, the support of Eldonio, um, and the course itself, for me, the side of it. Because there's no way I'd be doing now a month in advance. There's no way. I mean, that is either laughable. 12 months ago, I would have laughed at myself. And also understanding the background of how to do a group and all the bits and bats, you know, all the technical sort of bits. So really quite a lot, quite a lot. <laughs> 
It's all going on. Loads <laughs> of it. Lovely. Loads of it, Eldonia. <laughs> Okay. okay I just loved that. it. You just loved it. And I mean, it's made a massive difference, hasn't it? And that's one of the things that I always love about it is that when I when I first ran um, this course, it wasn't called Audience Attraction. It was called Content Creation Mastery. It very much was the same vein as what it is now that, you know, the core parts of it have never changed. But it, it is a situation whereby... Um, that we've added things we've included additional things as the time has gone on and the first one of the first times i ever ran it i actually ran it for three people and it was done over a number of sessions over a couple of days and it was done um it was done within zoom but it was done because back in the day we could still see each, each other it wasn't virtual because it had to be it was just it was just yeah. it panned out that way right and then the second time I did it, I did it as an in-person intensive day, okay? And that was a real yeah. eye opener for me. It was a wonderful day and big love to my pretties that joined yeah. me that day. It feels you're all going to spit because it feels like yesterday. It was over two years ago that day. Any of my pretties that are watching right now, Cassie, if you're watching, oh, Zoe, if you're watching, OMG, Je honestly, so it was... It was wonderful. Oh, so did you, you put you put everything into one day? Every you put oh, everything into one day. One day. But it was different because every single year, of course, we add more. So it gets beefier and beefier every time we run it. But yes, yeah. the first the first half of the day was the theory and the psychological selling, and the second half of the day was the tech and the scheduling. Um, so a lot of, you can see a lot of the things that we've had out this year are additional, but we all went home that night. We, we went home with a month's worth of content scheduled in one day. Brilliant. Strategy that they must have been shattered. <laughs> we were knackered. Every single one of us. But Within was it, it fantastic? <laughs> we were all knackered. Yeah, we were. We were so tired. We were, and we, but we, and we still had the breakthroughs. You know, there were there were moments where there were, we struggled with our blocks, and there were there was worry over being able to understand the tech, and there was all sorts of things that happened. It was the most beautiful day. We went away with a lot achieved, but we were we were tired emotionally and physically, just drained. And then obviously. <laughs> Ran it. I've run it a few times over a number of weeks, and I think now, in the way that we've changed it, we've actually nailed it. We did. We ran it yeah, as a yeah. one summer. Then we did it as the full course in the autumn, and then we, you know, we've we've run it differently every time. So, I, I do think it's one of those situations where the the course has evolved as social media has evolved and every single time i have to take myself off and do more training to find out what's going on in the in the mind yes. of zuckerberg and beyond um, <laughs> in the facebook world in, in, their, facebook in their brain <laughs> we, we end up adding things on because like for instance one of the key features this year that wasn't available in previous years is we will be learning about how you can monetize your account because now within facebook once you get to a certain size you can have fans that actually pay you in stars yes you can yes i've seen and you that can yeah. monetize, you can monetize your events there are so many different monetization tools now yeah, brilliant i love the idea of that yeah That's well exactly right. Right. for us as, for us in our area this is something that really needs to be yes. um, about so we i mean it's wonderful for that and i'm really looking forward to going uh, through all of that so. buy them stars get them stars oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. i mean we are talking high volume there but the fact that there's even that possibility is exciting it's, right? it's brilliant yeah it is yeah, yeah. thank you so much for joining You're all right my darling <laughs> as a box of frogs we had a few technical yeah. issues with the, the internet but i think we're all right i think we've managed it helen says even though i did it last year i feel that there's so much more to experience this year's audience attraction vip that can add to my skills and business yes definitely. so 
so true. And you don't want to be in Zuckerberg's mind. No, I, spend a I, lot don't of money. I spend a lot of money every year doing that trip into Zuckerberg's mind for you. That's the whole point. <laughs> There's no point in having Eldonio if you want to go on that trek into that guy's mind. We don't himself. want to go in his mind. Please no. no. <laughs> That's the whole point in having me. All right, my darling. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you so, so much to everybody who tuned in. And yes, give thank you, everyone. If you're watching on replay, thank go you. watch Bob's. Oh, this way. Look, 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 look. Look. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a brew now. I'm going to have a brew now. <laughs> Go and have a brew. Go and have a brew. Hel Helen's recruiting me uh, <laughs> for some therapy. I might need it. I mean, I we need therapy. Helen, help, help, help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> I definitely oh, need some bloody therapy. I definitely I need some bloody therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so so much, Emma. Thanks everybody for watching. Oh, yeah. we'll again. Woo, woo, to the Bye, Bye. Bye pretty.